Fight Corona, wash your hands. Fight Corona, wash your hands. Fight Corona, wash your hands. Hey guys, welcome to Critical Beauty Salon. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe now and hit the bell icon below to get instant notification for the next video. And thank you to the new subscribers. Welcome. So due to the coronavirus outbreak that has so far caused nearly 8,000 deaths worldwide and still no treatment or vaccine has been developed for the virus, which is also called COVID-19 or the Chinese virus because it originated in Wuhan, China, the World Health Organization has implemented basic protective measures against the plague that has affected virtually every country in the world. These measures consist of washing your hands frequently, maintaining social distance, avoiding touching your eyes, nose, or mouth, practicing respiratory hygiene, which means covering your mouth and nose with your bent elbow or tissue when you cough or sneeze, and if you have fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, seek medical care early. The seriousness of COVID-19 has not only affected human lives, but also the way we behave. For one thing, we have become more aware of the importance of washing our hands. We have become more conscious of our actions. And to a certain extent, we have developed fear because we don't know if the virus could mutate into a much more powerful and deadlier form without cure. Because of fear and paranoia, people are hoarding necessary items, which is causing black marketing and price gouging. Some people have also developed racist attitude towards the Chinese or Asians in general out of fear and ignorance. This has got to stop. Any virus can affect all humans regardless of one's race, ethnicity, gender, religion, sexual orientation, educational background, or social or economic status. The seriousness of COVID-19 has tremendously affected the global economy, such as the tourism and hospitality industry. The airline industry is losing money because of the massive decline in touring and business travel. The tourist industry is particularly hard hit because of the quarantines and widespread fear of crowds. Italy is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world, attracting millions of tourists every year, but now, Italy has the second highest number of confirmed coronavirus cases, numbering almost 28,000, right after China, leading with at least 82,000. Italy has been under lockdown for a week. Many countries have imposed the most drastic curbs to contain the spread of the virus, telling their citizens to stay at home unless for emergencies or essential work-related purposes. Bars, restaurants, schools, universities, museums, libraries, theaters, sports centers, gyms, and all retailers, apart from pharmacies and food shops, have been shut down. To slow or to prevent the spread of the virus, people have been advised not to establish close physical contact with each other, which is not easy to do, especially if you come from a culture that cherishes handshakes, hugs, and kisses. Or worse, you are obligated to isolate yourself for two weeks or more if you have been contaminated by the virus. The coronavirus outbreak has certainly put a huge damper on our daily life. It has made us rethink and reconsider going to group gatherings, to birthday parties, to concerts, to crowded malls, and yes, even to pageants. If sports events like the NBA, Broadway shows, concerts, plays, workshops, religious services, lectures, baby showers, parades, weddings, and sexual orgies can be canceled or postponed because of the virus, so can pageants. For example, the Bidibini Pilipinas 2020 finals was originally scheduled for April 26, but due to the COVID-19 crisis, the show has been moved to May 31st. Miss Universe Philippines 2020 finals was originally set for May 3rd, but now has been moved to June 14th. A few days ago via Instagram, co-director of Miss Venezuela, Gabriela Isler, posted that the organization has decided to postpone temporarily all activities related to the pageant so they can first take preventive measures to fight the virus. Several international pageants have been postponed without new dates, like Miss Charm International, which was originally scheduled to take place in Vietnam last March 17. Mr. United Continents, which was to take place in the Philippines last February 24th. 
Miss Eco International, which is supposed to be held in Egypt on April 11th, has not set up a new date. One international pageant, Miss Glam World, was originally scheduled for April 9 in Indonesia, but has been rescheduled for August 18. However, the coronavirus did not stop the Miss International Queen 2020 pageant that took place in Thailand on March 7. All the contestants were required to wear face masks during rehearsals. Some fans are wondering whether Miss Universe 2020 will be canceled. I really don't think we have to worry about it because the pageant gets canceled or postponed every one or two years anyway, regardless whether or not there's an outbreak of a deadly virus or Trump wins three election in November. There is actually another good reason to postpone these pageants besides decreasing one's chances of getting infected by the virus or infecting others. It gives the contestants extra time to prepare for any coronavirus-related question thrown at them during the interview segment of the competition. From simple questions like, what can you do to protect yourself from coronavirus? Or, what are the symptoms of someone infected with the coronavirus? To more challenging questions like, if you were a virus in the next life, what would you be and why? Or, is it racist to call coronavirus Chinese virus? Certain beauty queens themselves have taken to social media to express their thoughts and concerns regarding the deadly virus. The current Miss Universe, Zosibini Tunzi, encourages her followers to stay at home and stay informed when it comes to the coronavirus. She has put her travels on hold. Zosie said in, in a video on Instagram, As you can see, I am at home in my sweats, trying to do my part in flattening the curve. And I hope that you guys are doing the same too by staying at home and staying strong and listening to your governments and world health leaders. Miss Universe 2018 Catriona Gray asked her social media followers to join her in praying for people across the globe whose lives remain at risk because of the virus. She also prayed for wisdom for our leaders, the quick progress of a vaccine, and health for all our nations. Miss Universe Australia 2009 Rachel Finch, who was also third runner-up in Miss Universe 2009, stated that she hasn't had toilet paper for the past four days due to widespread panic buying in her country. She also shared her tips on staying healthy in these crazy and uncertain times. Last Sunday, Miss Universe Philippines 2017 Rachel Peters and her fiancé Migs Villafuerte have decided to postpone their wedding. On her Instagram, Rachel wrote, Cancelled wedding for now, all businesses suffering and millions of people terrified of where this is headed and how to keep their loved ones safe. Miss Universe 2016, Iris Mittenach from France decided to isolate herself in her apartment with her boyfriend Diego El Glaoui, but she said she's getting bored already after several days. Meanwhile, Miss Universe 2012, Olivia Culpo and her new boyfriend, Christian McCaffrey, joined the rising number of jet setters who are flying on a private plane to reduce the risk of infection and avoid busy airports. After chartering a private jet, the couple soaked up the sun. And yesterday, Olivia shared a message from a restaurant that she co-owns, announcing that it will be temporarily closed for the well-being of the staff and customers. Even though the outbreak of the dreaded coronavirus is causing terrible affliction to us humans, it has also caused us in a mysterious way to realize what matters to us the most, life enjoying it, appreciating it, living it, not dangerously, but safely and responsibly. The virus compels us to spend more quality time with the people that we love, our families and our friends. And sometimes it takes a big crisis like the coronavirus for world government leaders to come together to solve the problem and not to fight like cats and dogs. This is called human fellowship and it is probably the silver lining in a storm cloud. And there you have it, my take on the coronavirus or COVID-19 or Wuhan virus or Chinese virus, whatever you want to call it. 
and its effects on humanity and specifically on pageantry. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below. Thank you for watching, guys. Until the next time, bye. Wash your hands, wash your hands. Wow.